Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. Here is your daily technical analysis of LME 3 Marv Copper and Aluminium. LME 3 Marv Copper, a second bearish black crow yesterday. The market is overall back within the broken bull channel, which is highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart. The question is still whether this move back up in and below has mended the break above the upper bull channel line, currently 91.18. The jury is still out on that one. However, what we do have is just below the market, the broken late January downtrend, currently at 89.03, along with the 50% Fibonacci line of the 2022 move at 8900. A little way below that, the rising media moving average, currently 87.37. For the moment, the broken downtrend has acted last week and this as a rolling, closing only based support, though I am prepared to retire it once it stops working. Whereas the 50% Fibonacci line at 8900, well, that does look a lot better as support. We still have overhead the primary target X in the 9563 area, which was close enough to almost be reached in mid January, and a secondary harder reach target X1 in the 9983 area. However, the construction of a rounded top over January has tempered the opportunity for such an immediate move higher. Yet, I had also recently laid out the situation that for this rounded top to pattern to work, we should see a halt, followed by a move up and through the previous highs of January, if this is to be the bullish variation on the rounded top pattern. Thus, watch out for any build-up of bullish steam in the next few weeks. Over all of this is the realization that we had a monthly key reversal up in January, which has not as yet been realized, nor has it been about abrogated. Now, so far today, a dip down through the broken downtrend and 50% Fibonacci line, but a recovery just sits a little higher than yesterday's close and look like a reactionary bullish harami right now. Overhead, we have the slowly dipping short medium moving average as the first resistance, and that's currently 89.79. LME 3 month aluminium. An immediate countering bearish harami yesterday, if only just, after the previous session's unusual key reversal up pattern, coming as it did after a bullish engulfing pattern. It was nevertheless the highest high since the 2nd of March and was capped, once again, as it was last week, by the slowly, very slowly, ascending medium moving average, currently at 24.33. This medium moving average is now being aided by the declining short medium moving average, currently at 24.34. I still have on my daily chart the late October last year to early January this year bullish shift picture, despite, despite it being breached and then broken. I've not highlighted it as I'm not secure in thinking of it as a main pattern here. And I will discuss and expand on why shortly, but first I will note the lower time for this pattern, currently at 23.77 as supporting the market late last week, as well as seeing support from the flatlining long moving average nearby, currently at 23.87. So, why am I insecure in viewing the bullish shift pitchfork? Well, as I said yesterday, and here again today, there may be an alternative narrative to look at here, in fact possibly two narratives. So. We have this bullish shift pitch for, but what if the action since November last year today is part of a head and shoulders top? It may even not be a topping action, but a continuation of a head and shoulders continuation pattern. And if either case, in either case, if that is the scenario, then we are in the process of forming the second shoulder right now, with a possible neckline highlighted in dark blue, currently at 22.54. Now, this is a fairly obvious view. But here is something else, less obvious. What if the action since November last year develops into another larger diamond type pattern? It seems far fetched right now, but I'm trying to keep an open mind on this. Either way, the top side seems fairly clear beyond the short medium and medium moving averages. And so we hit congestion at 2508, though prices did run into resistance in late February at 2460 and again at 2485. So watch out. One final addendum. I've added a 2023 bullish Andrews pitchfork, just in case. The market is nearest the rising lower time, currently at 23.30. 
though has not seen any time being tested as yet. So far today, a test down to the long moving average, breaching it, but not seemingly comfortable in staying down there below it. And we've seen the market pull back up. Right now it's looking like a possible hammer pattern, but it's a little bit slow on the day for the moment. Thank you for listening. This short version broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final important bit.